Hey friend, welcome back to Holistic Health for Moms. Um, it's been a minute if you've been following me, um, and I'm sorry for that, but here we are. Happy Monday. I hope you're having a fantastic Monday. It is beautiful here in Georgia. It's 60 and sunny, 60-ish and sunny. I hope it's the same where you are. If it's not, I'm praying for better weather, okay? So let's get started on this episode about being a little skeptical about natural slash holistic slash anything not allopathic or conventional medicine. All right, let's get started. Hey mama, welcome to Holistic Health for Moms. Do you want to lose weight and have more energy? Do you find yourself up late at night searching Google about hormones, weight loss, and how to get healthy? Do you wake up with big, ambitious goals only to feel overwhelmed and frustrated when the scale doesn't move and you look five months pregnant after eating again? Hey, I'm Jennifer. I'm a mom of three, a conventional health nurse practitioner that also believes in natural and holistic health. I kept hearing my patients tell me that they were overwhelmed, tired, and couldn't lose weight. They were overwhelmed with all the health and weight loss information out there. It hurt my heart to see women who wanted answers and solutions to only be given prescriptions and vague directions like eat better and exercise. They needed to get out of the traditional healthcare box and I wanted to help. So I created this podcast. In this podcast, you'll learn about optimizing your health and transforming your mindset. You'll learn about tools to help you build on what you know is right for you and reclaim the energy and health you know you should have. If this sounds like you, raise your hand and say present and accounted for, and let's get this party started. So you're kind of, you're kind of interested in holistic slash natural slash not allopathic conventional. Um, and, you know, you're just kind of dipping your toe in the water. And I respect that 100%. I don't know what your story is. I would love to hear it sometime. Um, so if you have a story, email me. But why are you why are you interested in holistic? Like what what is your story? What led you here? I want you to think about that. You know, and I've I've come up with five reasons why um, you know, you want to try natural or holistic or something outside of the box. And If you're kind of interested or if you're just here and you think this is just a farce and this is crazy, it's okay because I'm just going to share with you, you know, why I personally have started to take this route and maybe you'll identify. So number one is that health is very individual. Um, My healthy is different from your healthy and that's not saying that it's better or worse. It's just different. Like, I feel different than you do. My body responds differently than yours does. Um, I can eat some things that agree with me and some things that don't, and the same with you. Um, also, like, whenever whenever we do lab work in our office, the normal ranges that we go by are compared to the population in the United States. Um, I'm not sure if you've looked around recently, but our population is not very healthy. Therefore, I don't think I want my lab values to be in the quote-unquote normal range, okay? Um, So first, health is very individual, and so the conventional medicine way may not be what's right for you, and you may kind of feel that, but you don't really know where to go. Well, welcome to Holistic Health for Moms. (laughs) Number two. Ultimately, you are responsible for your health. Um, I am in a very small town in Georgia where um, I work under some amazing physicians and I have learned a lot of things and I am forever, forever grateful for them. However, um, some of them come from a time period where you do what I tell you to do and don't ask questions. And many of our patients are from that time period, and they're okay with that. But I think now we're at a point where you don't have to be okay with that. And it's okay for you to ask questions because once you leave my office, it's up to you whether or not you put those suggestions into play or you just keep doing your own thing, right? So you are responsible for your health, but you are also responsible for asking questions, 
why? And I'm not saying be hateful about it. Don't get me wrong. Please don't get me wrong. But if you genuinely want to know why, ask. Because more than likely, your provider or whoever you may be talking to is more than happy to answer your question. Okay? So you are responsible for you. Number three. U.S. is dominated by allopathic, conventional, medicine, whatever you want to call it. Um, And if you've been in that um, healthcare path, possibly, quite possibly, especially if you're a mother and especially if you're like me and um, you defer certain things for your children, um, you've possibly been shamed um, or looked down on or felt like you were judged And I am here to tell you that it is okay and you did what you thought was right for your children because you are their mama. So that's a whole soapbox. Y'all have so many soapboxes, but I just want you to know that if you have ever been shamed in any of these allopathic, conventional, whatever, even in holistic, I don't care. You go with your gut feeling as a mama because it is your job to take care of those kids. Okay? Same thing. It's your job to take care of you. So if you have been shamed for those reasons, first of all, I want to say that I am sorry that, you know, people aren't more open-minded. Um, but I want to tell you, uh, good for you. You go, girl. You keep doing you. Okay? Um, number four, another reason why you might be kind of hesitant, scared of using alternative meds because people have said it doesn't work. Something might happen to you. Oh my God, you may have a reaction. You don't know what's in that. That had been FDA tested. That had been FDA approved. That had been... um, Can we just back that train up real quick? Have you read a label on a prescription like thing, the little leaflet? Okay, have you read the... Have you read the leaflet? Just just read it and then, you know, you you can email me. But just... Prescription medicine, just because it is FDA approved, does not mean it is safe. It means it's FDA approved, and there's probably been a patent on it, and somebody has probably made lots and lots and lots of money off of that. Um, Not that people aren't making money off of alternative medicine, but it's been through many studies and many trials that have been funded by many people who have... Um, pockets that would be lined. Okay? So, you don't be afraid to use your alternative medications because many of them have a very safe, um, have a safe profile as far as side effects. And any side effects that you may have are probably going to be very minimal, if none at all. Okay? Um, And number, um, oh wait, no. (laughs) I've already said number five, but we'll do it again. Possibly you don't want to do this because you've been shamed for your holistic or natural way of life. Again, I'm going to tell you, you keep doing you. um, And I love you for that. And God loves you for that. And I am not going to shame you. And I say more power to you because you're taking care of your kids. Now, I do want you to educate yourself. And I'm here to try to educate as much as I can. Um, Y'all, I'm in the, you know... I promise I'm in the office trying to find out what y'all want to know, what y'all want to hear, how I can help you. So any emails or messages you send me, I always appreciate them. Any questions you send me, I am more than happy to answer. And it always gives me more ideas to um, put stuff out on the podcast. So um, three ways right now that you can start that holistic lifestyle or the holistic health or the holistic whatever you want to call it. Um, number one is eat fruits and vegetables and preferably ones that are organic. Don't get mad. Food is expensive. I understand that. Um, prioritize the environmental working groups, uh, Dirty Dozen and Clean 15. Um, it's just ewg.org and you can look at that. So that's your first step. Is just eat real food that has, like, the least amount of, like, chemicals in it. Like, for real. Like, that. that is, like, the foundation. Eating real food. Take out the crap and eat real food. Okay? Number two. 
exercise. Y'all, I am not even lying to you. I just eating real food and exercising, and I ain't talking about going to a CrossFit workout. I'm just talking about going outside in the sun and taking a brisk walk. You would be amazed at how good you feel afterwards, how clear your mind is, and how you think it's going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be so tired. No, it's energizing. I promise. Just try it, okay? That's your first two things that you can do, first two steps. And your third, if you're into supplements, if you want to try a supplement, if you're towing the line with supplements, uh, I understand completely. I got two right now that are in my little thing that I, I keep I keep eyeballing them and I'm like I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know I need to do some more research I need to look it out anyway if you're towing the line I would encourage you to go to um, Earthly Wellness's website um, and it is actually earthly.com and um, I will link I'll put the link in the show notes um, but right now, I want to share with you because it's spring and everything's blooming and it's so beautiful and the flowers and they all bring pollen. But you know, I love it. I love it. But they do have a sale right now on Sinus Saver um, with code SPRING25 if you want to try that. If you have seasonal allergies and sinus issues, we got a lot of that down here in the South. A lot of sinus infections. Um, anyway. Um, and if you're a first time customer, um, you can use the choose natural code choose natural for 10% off. And if you're a returning customer, you can use the code come back 10%. Okay. So 25% off sinus saver with spring 25. Um, if you're a first time customer, choose natural um, is for 10% off and then a returning customer 10% off with the code come back. Now, um, you know, like I said, I'm going to put my, um, link in the show notes. If you have any questions for me, like about any of that stuff, you can send me a message. Um, I use quite a bit of it myself and I'm actually going to do an episode, um, pretty soon on the, the few things, um, that I or said the few things, <laughs> all the things, the things that I do use from Earthly um, that I love. But this is just a way to kind of like, you know, dip your toe in the water, see how you like it. Um, one thing I will say, you know, elderberry, I I take it like all the time, and you know, I ain't mad about it. I ain't mad about it. The only thing is, I would do elderberry for kids, not the adults, because it tastes like. Um, it tastes like, uh, what do you call it? A Jaeger bomb. And I ain't about that life. So anyway, there is your episode for the day. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, support at jennifercowell.com. I am here to answer them. And I always love hearing from y'all. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, mama. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, would you take 30 seconds and subscribe to my email list? By signing up, you get my free meal planning template to help you start optimizing your health today. Also, if you could leave me a review, this helps this podcast rate, helps more sisters see it, and it lights me up to know this podcast is helping you. Okay, time to go make sure the clothes are washed. Ball uniforms are ready and snacks are prepared for this week full of games and chaos. I'll meet you back next week for another episode. Have a great week, sisters.